smashed Taylor Swift guitar back up for sale to the highest bidder. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are enjoying so let's begin. The Taylor Swift guitar that made waves in a recent viral video is back in the spotlight, but this time it's up for grabs on eBay. The guitar, which was purchased at a charity auction for $4,000, and then smashed to pieces in a social media video, is now being sold to the highest bidder. According to the seller, the guitar was donated back to the original charity, the Ellis County Wild Game Dinner, based in Texas. All proceeds from the eBay sale are aimed at supporting agricultural education for local youth, keeping the original charitable intent intact. The eBay listing claims that the guitar was signed by Taylor Swift herself, However, according to TMZ, a source connected to Swift's merchandise company disputes this claim, stating that neither the signature nor the guitar is official, and no certificate of authenticity was ever issued by Taylor's team. Photos on the eBay listing show what appears to be a signature, along with designs inspired by Taylor's era's tour. The original auction did provide a certificate claiming that the guitar was personally signed by Swift and is guaranteed to be authentic. However, the document's authenticity is questionable since it lacks a seal a typical feature for legitimate certificates. Despite the controversy surrounding its authenticity and the viral destruction it suffered, the damaged guitar is now up for auction with a starting bid of $100. Whether it becomes a collector's item or just a piece of viral memorabilia, the guitar story continues, with all eyes on its next owner and the charity it's set to benefit. After missing her second Chiefs game in a row, some fans are starting to wonder if there was any validity to the reported leaked breakup contract written for Taylor Swift and Travis Kells. If you missed it, a photo spread online purported to be of a document written by Kels's PR firm, planning a breakup announcement between the couple on September 28 and sending fans spiraling. Full Scope PR, however, denied having anything to do with the document, claiming the pages were entirely false and fabricated and were not created, issued, or authorized by this agency. Many people, including Chiefs CEO Clark Hunt, shut down the idea that the relationship was a PR stunt over the last year. However, when Swift was absent from the stands for a second week during the Chiefs game against the Chargers, some folks questioned the timing of the supposed breakup date and the lack of a W. Aguilar appearance. In response to the more negative commentary, one fan dug up an interview with Kels from 2016 where he revealed that he didn't at all expect his partner to attend every single game. If you're dating a professional athlete, I do not believe, at least for me, that you have to go to all the games, he said. I mean, there's eight home games, eight away games, plus playoffs. I don't even expect my parents and my friends to make every